hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix microsoft store error that is 0x8008005 so if you are receiving this error message while downloading or installing any application or uh, any games from store then please follow the steps shown in this video now there are multiple steps so at the end of each step you can go ahead and try to use store still you are facing the problem then move on to the next step so the first step is to run Windows Store Troubleshooter. To run the Troubleshooter, go to the Start menu, then click on Settings. Go to Update and Security. Then click on Troubleshoot. And here you can see Additional Troubleshooter. Click on it. Scroll down and here you can find Windows Store Apps. So click on Run the Troubleshooter. And once the troubleshoot is complete, try to use the store. In case still you are facing the problem, then you have to clear the store cache using WS reset command. So just type in WS reset in Windows search and then click on make a right click on WS reset and then click on run as administrator, then click on yes to allow. And here you can see the black screen over here. So we have to wait till this black screen goes away. So it may take a couple of seconds, maybe a minute. Once the black screen is gone, uh, the Microsoft Store will open up. Do not close this black screen. Now here you can see the black screen is gone and Microsoft Store is opening up. So once uh, Microsoft Store is up and running, you can go ahead and try to download any application or games and check. Now still you are facing the problem, then you have to go ahead and update your Windows 10. So go to the Start menu, then click on Settings. Go to Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. And if there is any pending update, go ahead and install it, then restart your computer and then try to use the store. Now the next step is to reset store app. To reset store app, go to the start menu, click on settings, go to apps and here you have to find Microsoft Store. Scroll down and here you can see Microsoft Store. Then click on advanced option. Scroll down and here you can see the reset option. So here you can see this will, this will permanently delete the app's data on this device including your preferences and sign-in details. So you might have to sign in to your store once again. Then click on reset. And after the reset you can go ahead and try to launch the store and check. The next, Still you are facing the problem. The next step is to run these PowerShell command. The commands are provided in the video description. So copy this command and open command uh, open powershell so just type in powershell in windows search box and then uh, make a right click on windows powershell then click on run this pro uh, run as administrator then click on yes to allow and paste the command over here and then hit the enter key on the keyboard and once this is complete you can go ahead and try to use store still you are facing the problem then go ahead and use the second command copy this command and then paste it on the power cell window then hit the enter key on the keyboard and once this is done you can try to use the store once again now still you are facing the problem so in that case you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall microsoft store to uninstall you again you have to open uh, power cell so go ahead and type in power cell in windows search box make a right click on windows power cell and then click on run as administrator then click on yes to allow now let me open the store for you first and let me pin this to the taskbar. So here you can see the store is up and running right now. And copy this command. And once I paste the command over here and hit the enter key, the store will go away. It will uninstall the store from here. Hit the enter key. And here you can see the store is gone. And after you uninstall the Microsoft Store, go ahead and restart your computer. Go to the Start menu, click on the power icon, and then click on Restart. 
and after the restart after restarting your computer launch powershell once again just type in powershell and then make a right click and then click on run as administrator then click on yes to allow and copy the second command the commands are provided in the video description so run this second command which will reinstall microsoft store so once you enter the command once you hit the enter key the store will be back so you can go ahead and type in store over here and the microsoft store should open up so this has reinstalled microsoft store and that should go ahead and fix the problem but still you are facing the problem then you can go ahead and run this dism command so open powershell and then paste this command in the powershell window hit the enter key and once the scan is complete restart your computer and then try to use store so the scan will take some time here you can see till the time you know it's 100 percent do not close this window and once the scan is 100 percent restart your computer and then use store the next step is to run inet cpl dot cpl command so just open run box just type in run in window search over here and open the run box just type in inet cpl dot cpl over here and then click on ok go to the advanced tab scroll down and here you can see tls 1.2 so make sure that this one is checked which says use tls 1.2 then click on apply ok and then you can use, use store then the last step if nothing works then you can go ahead and use media creation tool to update your windows 10 and that will go ahead and take care of the problem so to use media creation tool go to the browser and just type in media creation tool in google search and go to this microsoft website and here you can see the download tool now option over here so click on this download tool now uh, exe file will download you have to go ahead and run this exe file now once you run this exe file the tool will come up on the screen and here you will see the option which says agree to the terms so you have to go ahead and agree to the terms click on accept and after this you will see this screen which will say upgrade this pc now so by default this will be checked so make sure that this one is checked and then click on next now this will go ahead and update your windows 10 so this will go ahead and download the windows 10 file along with the latest update and this process will take time because it will download a large file and once the download is complete it will you have to go ahead and install windows 10 along with the latest update now during the installation before the installation you will see this option which says keep personal files and app by default this option will be checked so in that case you will not lose any data on the computer so do not worry about the data loss then click on next and then it will go ahead and update your windows 10 along with the latest update so that will go ahead and fix your microsoft store so one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of this error which says 0x800 8005 so if you are receiving this error that will go ahead and fix the problem so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel